Hello everybody, it's uh, SNC52 of the Batcave Club here, and I'm about to show you, uh, just a minute, let me turn this this way so you can see it better, I'm about to show you how to uh, take the uh, NASCAR Racing 2003 season and put it, uh, the full game, onto your computer. Uh, I'm going to have several links in the description. So that way you'll be able to find your way around. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go up anywhere on your desktop, go to New and Folder, and type in whatever you want. Uh, I'm, I type in NASCAR Racing 2003 or NR 2003 and leave it there on your desktop. Okay? I've already done that, so I'm going to delete mine, but keep yours up. Okay, the first place that you're going to go is uh, the first link that I've got. What you're going to be downloading are uh, RAR files instead of going with the torrents. And so uh, you're going to want to download WinRAR. Uh, if you have already, then that's great. Uh, it's uh, Win WinRAR freedownload.net and um, then it should take you here to the free download and uh, let's see then you go down here um, right here I believe is where you would click this yellow dot right here. I'm not sure. How about I check here? Um, sorry if I don't sound so good. I'm battling a cold or something here. Ooh, that card mangled up. There we go. Yep, right here. It says free zip utility. Download for free. And then you would click there for the free zip. I think it's the exact same thing back here. Where you would click free zip. Yep, right here. So you go to winrarfreedownload.net and then you do this. Now, this is what it's going to look like. When you get it loaded on, you're going to have something that looks similar to this. It's going to be a small window. It's going to have uh, add, extract to, test, view, delete, find wizard info repair and it'll have a whole bunch of stuff alright now you're gonna go to the next link after you have got the complete uh, WinRAR downloaded oops didn't mean to do that just a minute there we go and you're gonna go to the next link which is uh, filestube.com for ADFEC 39BA 7C on down NASCAR Race 2003 season HTML. You're going to go to that. And you'll notice here there are five files. They are RAR files, and that is why I had you download WinRAR because if you didn't, you wouldn't be able to open these. So, what you're going to do is I'll show you like the first one. There's Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, and Part 5. You'd hit download. It'll bring you to this other page here. And uh, you just got to give it a minute. And then, if it does what I think it's going to. Okay, here we go. It says processing download request. And now it'll say click here to start download from media file right here this blue link that's what you'll want to click when you click it you'll have this come up now this one you want to click open open is what you'll want to do when you click open I'm going to show you next what happens okay so uh, we'll close this one out 
once it's all downloaded, WinRAR will pop up. Now, these are not the folders that will be in it, but um, this will pop up. What you're going to do is as soon as it pops up, there's two buttons up here. First one says Add, and the next one beside it is a folder that's partly open. It says Extract To. You'll want to click that. Once you do that, um, let me see, I'll like just show you. Um, let's see. You hit Extract To, and it's not going to let me do it because I've already downloaded it, but you take and hit Extract To, and you do this after you've downloaded each part. Don't download all five and then do it because otherwise you won't get it right. So you hit Extract To, and then you will go to uh, Desktop, in the one that shows you where you want it to extract to and go to that folder that I told you to make NASCAR AC 2003, NR2003, whatever and extract it into there. Alright, so that's the first part. That's how you do that. I don't like working with torrents, so that's why I'm working with the RAR files and it really works. Okay, here's the next part. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your NASCAR Racing 2003 file, whatever file you did, the folder on your desktop. Now you'll notice that there's all these files. These are all from those RAR files. There should be a wheel that says auto run. That's the what you're going to click. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to uninstall this and then I'm going to come back and install it again to show you what to do. Okay, I've been able to uninstall it so now I'm going to install it again. So you click auto run, click install. Alright. This is actually very simple. It takes a little bit of time, but if you do it all with these steps, then it does work. And uh, some people don't really give all of the instructions, so I want to do that. I also highly recommend that you take all the files that were there in, that, in the folders. It's playing this wave file right now. But you take all of those files and put them either on a flash drive or burn them to a CD. That way you have them for later on. Okay, here it says enter CD key. You're going to hit RAB2. Next one's RAB2. 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 8869. I'll post that in the description for you so that way you know and don't have to, you know, if you don't hear it correctly, that way you don't have a problem. Alright, I've got it like burned onto two CDs. You might have to take some files, burn them onto one, some files burn onto two because I think the highest that a CD goes up to for space is uh, 700 megabytes. So I've got like a few files on a second disc and most of it on a first disc. But uh, if you're with me so far, great because this is exactly how I did it and it's the easiest way. But everything that I've told you to do so far, you have to do in order to do it the way that I was able to. Okay, so right now it's at 2% loading on. As soon as it's loaded, then I'm going to show you the next step. And you'll want to pay very close attention because this is going to be the most delicate part of this whole thing. Otherwise, you're going to end up having to uninstall and install the whole thing all over again if you mess up on the next part. So pay attention carefully. We'll be right back when this is loaded up. Okay, we're up to about 71, 72% now, and so uh, we'll continue on because I'm able to put on videos that have over 15 minutes. I don't think it'll take quite 15 minutes to do this, but it might. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to update the race cars. You're on your own with that because I tried that, and the decals were all askew. The cars looked really queer because it messed everything up, and so... Uh, I'm not updating the race cars. I'm keeping them at the regular status that they were at. Okay, we're up to 90%, 91% now. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the things that I do. You don't necessarily have to do them here with uh, installing it. But I'm going to just show you what I do. Because it's quicker. What can I say? Okay. Um... at 99%. Okay. So this is going to be the last file it has to do. And I hope that uh, everybody is able to do get this right. 
and is able to have this game on, I would, you know, that'd be great. But you have to do exactly what I told you. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, now it's checking the direct decks. Probably all of you have the updated direct decks. Uh, saving this to. Okay, I'm not gonna add a shortcut. You can if you want on your desktop. You know, I would recommend it, but I'm not going to on this one because this is another computer. I've got it on my other computer. You can register to get upgrade information. I'm not going to be registering. You can get available updates. I'm not going to be doing that. Don't need the readme file. All right, so as of right now, it is installed on your computer. Now, here's the next part. I'm going to minimize this for right now. Next part is you're going to go to the third link that I've got, which is Twister Motorsports Update EN or 2003 Update EN 1000 1201 EXE. Okay, this is where you're going to get. Oops, this is where you're going to get the uh, update, which will allow you to get in. So we're gonna go to that. Now, you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff on here, so you're going to want to go down uh, as soon as it comes. Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, so this here, I'm going to say click save. This is going to be a little different. I would not click run. You get the little pop-up, click save. Where are you going to save it to? Save it to the place that you have everything else that file on your desktop now I've already done that so I'm not gonna do it but go right ahead that's what you want to do save it don't run it next what you're gonna do is you are then going to go into your file here and you're going to find that which is uh, right here I believe yep here it is it says NASCAR AC 2003 patch. You're going to double click on that. And here you go. Agree. Next. 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 And it'll start upgrading the file. Now, if you end up not doing this, you're going to have a problem with the next step because then you're going to have it saying that there's a runtime error. So this is important that you do this part first this upgrade before you put in the no CD patch which I will show you how to get and how to put in which is actually very simple I was having it harder than it was I'm like what in the world am I supposed to do and then all of a sudden it's like oh it's just that okay so it's upgrading the file I don't know how long it would take on your computers, but it takes a little bit of time on mine. At least for the beginning of it. Then it just really picks up and it starts going. And uh, just to let you know, this is a no-fail system because I actually uninstalled it from my computer and reinstalled it again to see if it worked, and it did work. I did, I think, like two or three times. This actually has a new track in it too that's got the Coca-Cola Raceway and it's awesome. It's a restrictor plate track that's almost got a rectangular shape to it. It's an awesome racetrack. And, uh, you know, if you haven't signed up for the NASCAR Racing 2003 signups I've got, please sign up for it. I've still got lots of rides available. Okay, so it's done. They'll ask you if you want to see the README file, you can do that. Alright, next part. You have taken and put the game on, you have now updated it. Now you're going to go to the fourth and final link. Okay, this is the no CD patch link. And this is going to be the final thing that you'll want to do. You'll notice it's a zip file, but that's okay. All right, uh, I've got to wait for my internet to come up. Uh, there we go. All right. I think this is the one where you got to slide down and 
find it. It might be. No, it isn't. Okay, here comes this, okay? That's all you have to do is just put in those links and the thing comes up. Or actually, all you'll have to do is click on the links. So, you're lucky. Alright, so now, with this one, once again, I would click Save. Where do you save it? To your NASCAR Racing 2003 season disc. Or to that desktop folder you've got. It's only about 1.54 megabytes, so it's not going to take very long. Once again, don't run it. Okay. Now it says the download is complete. Now you open the folder. Okay, here you have, once again, WinRAR comes up. You're going to hit Extract To, go to Desktop, then to your folder, the NASCAR Racing 2003 folder, and click OK. It'll extract it to there. Close that out. Okay, you don't need this anymore. And you're going to go into your hard drive. Go to my computer, local disk C, Papyrus, NASCAR AC 2003 season. Okay, you're going to have two files up at the top, or you'll probably only have one. It'll either say crack or crack.bat. Go into one of those. Now, you're going to have a picture of a wheel. Oh, you can't see it. There's the wheel. You're going to click, right click on that. You want to hit copy. Go back to the original page that you were on. And you're going to want to paste it. It'll ask you if you want to replace the existing file. Click yes. And then as soon as you've done that, I believe you are ready. See if it works. It should. That's all you have to do. It's very simple, really. And... And then... You just wait a minute. I have to wait for mine. Probably won't have to wait for yours. And then, voila! There it is. There's the whole thing, and uh, I'm going to just forget about this. And there's all the race cars and everything. The whole thing is done. And that's all you have to do. And it works without the CD, since you installed an OCD patch. So, hope that uh, you will have as much luck with it as I did. And uh, I'm SNC52. Please comment and let me know if it worked for you. All right, if you have any questions, also comment, and I'll try and, to the best of my ability, answer your questions to help you get this great game.